Okay, so this is the, uh, the, the bubbler assembly and what we have here is simple air intake on this. The water levels uh, approximately around here and uh, when we uh, turn on the vacuum which is on the other end of here you can see the, the vacuum pipe. This is here is a water trap and this is uh, this port here is where we measure the uh, vacuum. So we can uh, measure the vacuum uh, relative to um, the level of water and that's important because that'll give us the and also we can take samples from here it's a sampling point of actually what we're delivering into the system pre thunderstorm generator so this is exactly what uh, is generated and uh, delivering to the engine yeah and so what, why have you got three tubes here uh, well the three tubes are found is interesting because um, we can uh, we use this this is closest to the to the air intake so this one's going to work well this tube will deliver water back into the system that over bubbles as well as this tube so it's protecting the engine from any uh, you know water in its liquid phase uh, and any any misting or you know so and this normally in a about 50 hours work uh, this water trap will accumulate probably uh, about 1.5 litres of... Uh, so that's to prevent water, direct water into the engine? Correct. Yeah. And so how often do you have to top these up again? Five litres a week and so you know it's not that much compared to the 30,000 uh, cc of the motor and what it's putting through generally so so it and this is where actually it's a very good point uh, on that basis it's not really I mean it is I would say it's not running on water it's water assisted or water in its gas phase assisted but it's not really using that much water it's right. using a lot more fuel uh, than water and uh, so and we can do that calculations I'm glad you brought that up because it is something and a calculation that we should do yeah and over here I've just uh, placed on a uh, scintillator looking for uh, gamma and x-rays and I've got beta on the um, tube there and we've done an audio sample we'll be doing audio samples with these running and so forth and also with this uh, yes I do that yeah and then up here what's, what's these dials up here so what we've got here is uh, for each one of the points we've connected up to gauges so we can see if there's any loss of vacuum and we can see what vacuum is being applied uh, which will tell you effectively if your water level is going down because the vacuum uh, will decrease as there's less resistance on it so so basically this is just so we can uh, also if there was a leak a vacuum leak in any one of these tubes due to something not being tightened up something or one of these flanges then uh, theoretically it should show up on those uh, meters so uh, it's, uh, and you can see the points at which they occur and obviously the uh, so we know uh, what vacuum we have in our uh, our water trap as well